Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a nail DIY video. Yes, y'all know. I think we both have a mutual understanding that this is our favorite kind of video, okay? I'm showing you guys all of the different things that I'm gonna be using in today's video. I feel like DIY queen, and that's me, if anybody didn't know. Yes, DIY queen really snapped on these nails, okay? I am not a professional. I am very much an amateur. I just like doing my own nails, and that's about it, because I like to save a little coin here and there. So yeah, let's just get into this nail DIY video so you guys can um, get your nails together. Oh, I'm hurrying transition <laughs> okay so i'm gonna start off by filing my nails i'm gonna file and buff my nails so taking off the natural shine um and just prepping the nails so that everything can adhere properly and the right way so i'm just speeding through this i'm using my mccart nail file that's 100 slash 180 grit <laughs> um i am a mccart ambassador so you can use code jasmine at checkout and save 15 percent off of your entire purchase yay i'm showing you guys the set that i'm gonna be trying to do today and i'm feeling like i did a good job i mean y'all saw it in the beginning it looked real good didn't it okay period that's why you clicked on this video so i'm about to get your nails all the way together okay sis then you gotta go in and you gotta push some cuticles back because that's very important we want salon style at home okay we want salon style on a on a low like on a budget you know but very giving very much cute you know <laughs> giving very much professional you know so i'm going in with my cuticle cutter and i'm making sure that i'm just clipping away all of the dead skin all of the excess cuticle um because it's not necessary and it's gonna make our nails look very nice very beautiful then i'm going in with my apri gel x nail extensions in the tapered coffin shape they are the sculpted so they have a very I'd say a pretty high curve my natural nail bed is a bit flatter it's more of a flat flatter nail bed so I really should have went in with the natural instead of the sculpted but I need to order those and they're always out of stock so when I get the chance to I definitely will um, but I'm just going in and making sure that the nails fit each of my nails. So I'm sizing them right now and I'm picking out my little sizes for my fingers and just <laughs> laying them out. I always go like pinky to index. That's what my nails look, all clean and ready to go. And then I'm going with my Gelish Kits, the pH Bond. This is the nail dehydrator. And I'm just applying this to my nails. And then I'm going in with the primer. This is the acid free gel primer from a pre um i feel like primer actually i know primer is very important um for the prep of your nails and it helps your sets last as long as possible um when i didn't use primer i definitely had lifting happening like after a couple of days which was really annoying so ever since i've introduced primer into my nail routine i definitely have my sets last a lot longer my sets always last a minimum of two weeks then I'm going in with this nail drill that I also bought off of Amazon. All of the items I've either bought off of Amazon or the actual website, everything will be linked down below in the description box. This nail drill, this e-drill was literally $20 and it's handheld. It's so freaking easy to use. Like, this is very beginner friendly. I honestly love it so much. And it was only $20, like sis, that is a steal, okay? So yeah, you want to go in and you want to buff the inside of the, the nail extensions, the soft gel nail extensions, up until where your natural nail would stop under the nail. So buff up until like you can like, you know, flip it over, look at it, line it up with your nail, but you want to just buff the inside. That is where you're going to be applying the extend gel, which is going to adhere to your natural nail. So you want to make sure that you buff it. I'm showing you guys my cute little portable McCart <laughs> UV lamp. And this is the Extend Gel, also from Apri. I'm doing a single layer of this on my nails. And then I'm going to cure for 30 seconds under my UV. Actually, I think I used the, the mini one. So that one I just did a flash cure 
I think I did like 10 seconds. Um, yeah, I just did a flash cure with my mini McCart UV lamp. Um, making sure that I'm getting every nail, including the thumbs. Okay, missies. I feel like I'm only showing you the four fingers. I never show you the thumb. That's a lie. I always show you my thumb. But anyway, I'm going to go on with the extend gel. And you want to put a, a nice size of this on the inside of the nail. This is what's essentially going to fill that sculpted nail um, and you want to start by applying it at the cuticle and applying pressure and pushing all the way down as you move down the nail and I needed help my pinkies I had to ask Bay to come and hold the lamp because I literally could not do it I was holding I was holding one hand with the other hand and I was like frick how am I gonna get it underneath the lamp so I had to I needed help I needed assistance, help on aisle two, um, spill on aisle two, yeah. So I'm gonna do the same thing to all the other nails. This set was so easy because these nails obviously already come sculpted and shaped. I don't have to do anything but apply them. So I'll, and then because I was doing a clear nail with just like a simple white design, oh my gosh, this was my fastest set. This set was so quick, I was so happy. And then I was like, girl, what if you use the hair clip, a freaking lobster claw, to hold your nail down? Would that work? And it low key did! Like, it really did work. So, yeah, I just thought that was a little tip. I mean, if anyone wants to try it. But I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do repeat the same steps for every single nail. Um, I was doing one at a time, like. I did like one finger at a time if that makes sense because I know in past videos I've like filled up all the nails at once and then stuck them on but I found I was making more mistakes that way so I decided to just do one at a time boom that was a cute transition oh my god I'm really I'm really that girl um anyway so um ciao anyway so <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my McCart nail file and I'm going to a uh, file and shape the nails I just like a really sharp nail I like very square very sharp very coffin they're already sculpted for me but they do have like that little bump at the very tip of the nail that you do want to file off so when I file that off I kind of just like square them up again to just make them really sharp they're really sharp like seriously like like you could cut somebody that's how sharp they are <laughs> um but I'm just going in and I'm filing every single nail um I spend about 15 minutes on each hand filing and it's my happy place like those 15 minutes are my happy place um <laughs> I'm going in with this gel polish that I got off of Amazon um and this makeshift skinny brush nail brush <laughs> that didn't make any sense but it's very ghetto you know this used to be the brush for another nail polish that i didn't want anymore so i tossed the nail polish bottle and i just kept the brush and then i cut it and it works perfectly it's literally the best thing ever no it really isn't it's actually super ghetto but it gets the job done you know until i buy the right nail brush like a legit one i'm gonna rock out with my little makeshift one this voiceover is actually ridiculous now that i think about it anyway um um chow. anyway so <laughs> I really say that all the time. I'm doing the nail designs. There's really no way for me to explain how I'm doing this because I'm just following the photo that I showed you guys. And I honestly struggled trying to do this on camera. Um, it's just like, it's an abstract like kind of moment. White lines, white squiggly lines. I'm just trying to replicate the same shapes that are in the photo, but honestly, you could do whatever you want. Um, but I just, I've really liked the design on the on these nails that I saw on Pinterest. So I was like, I'm gonna try and get it to look as close as possible. I feel like I did a good job. I feel like it looks pretty good. So 
yeah you guys can just watch me um i did one finger at a time and after i did each like after i did my pinky i cured for 60 seconds under the uv lamp because i wanted to make sure that i set that in place like i didn't want to um mess anything up by like letting it sit there or if it started to run and then before i went in and cured the ring finger i took my brush and some alcohol on the brush and i was just like really cleaning up the lines because i wanted them to be perfect i cured that for 60 seconds and then i moved on to my middle finger and then for this one there was like a little blob at the tip of the nail which was kind of cute um all very like just different and abstract i'm sure the nail tech that did these nails i don't know if she was following an image i feel like she was kind of just winging it because it just looks so carefree and i really loved these nails i was like i want these to be my birthday nails it's giving grown and sexy yes it's my birthday it's my birthday when this video goes up it's gonna be my birthday it's already my birthday actually <laughs> um doesn't that look so freaking cute oh my gosh i'm i feel like a work of art my nails feel like a work of art like this legit feels like art it is art it's nail art how many times am i gonna say art okay take a shot every time jasmine says art <laughs> y'all better be drunk um yeah so i'm just going in and i'm doing squiggly 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 the thumb is probably my favorite it just it's so simple and cute but like oh my gosh i love the squiggly like it just looks like an m i thought the, the thumbnail was like the dopest one honestly um and then here is a different angle of me looking extra cute as always um i'm just going over all of the lines with a second coat of white i wanted it to be super opaque like in the photo like you have the clear nail and then the super opaque white line so i went over every single line with the white and it actually made it pop so much more um so i would definitely definitely recommend this oh i was in my bag i was singing probably rapping along some nikki you know how it is so that's what all my nails look like after i cured um i did everything for 60 seconds and then I'm gonna go in with the top it off top coat from the gelish kit um, You guys know this is my old and faithful. I this is the same gelish kit that I bought like at the beginning of last year And I still have it. So it's definitely worth the money if anybody was wondering I'm sure you guys are not wondering actually because I get questions about that all the time but I'm just going in with a single layer of my top coat on all of my nails and I'm watching them come to life and they just look so good like get into this nail uh, oddly satisfying <laughs> moment <laughs> um, so yeah and then you want to cure under your uv lamp for 60 seconds when i say cure that just means i'm setting the gel products under the uv lamp and that's what my nails look like they look so good oh my gosh okay so the last two steps is to take some alcohol and just clean off the sticky residue that's on your nail after you cure it so you just wipe that off these little um pads that i'm using are not the best because they leave a little lint on your nails but you're just gonna power through okay <laughs> clean off your nails all right all right check them out they look good and then i'm gonna go in with my cuticle oil from the gelish kit and i'm gonna apply that to my cuticles and this is literally my favorite part of doing my nails because that just means i finished my nails look good and i just want to see them come to life so i'm applying that cuticle oil and ta -da! oh duh, they look so good uh, oh my gosh i actually was so surprised at how good these nails came out like seriously for something that i saw on pinterest like i'm very 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 pleased 
If you guys like the way my nails came out, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up down below. Let me know if you're going to try out this nail style. I've already seen some people that follow me on Instagram. They've been sending me their nails that they've already tried this style out. So give this video a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. I'm uploading three times a week, so make sure you have your notifications on and you're subscribed. I love you guys so much. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you on my next upload. Bye!